Welcome back to this episode of the Better World News segment where we feature amazing people doing amazing things in their community. And our first story of the day is in the Better World Challenge backyard lunch people. And Corey Pernier and Miranda McKeever were laid off from their restaurant jobs earlier early on in the pandemic, which is very unfortunate. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people, but they use their talent and their skills in the restaurant industry to start something, a project called lunch people and every saturday from 12 to 1 in april through october they were serving hot lunches they've served over 2,000 plant-based meals from local producers distributed 8,000 masks and delivered up to 150 hot delicious nutritious boxes of food that's awesome and so that they realized they were starting to fill this need and when they stopped doing that because of the farmer's market they decided to start a community cafe. And that community cafe is going to distribute free meals to people, you know, solving the problem of poverty alleviation and nutrition inequity, but also providing jobs for youth looking to develop some skill sets to get them ready for different restaurant jobs. And so they're providing, not only are they providing meals for people, they're providing an opportunity for people to develop their skills. We're going to drop lunch people in the show notes. Go check them out. Go support them. And that brings us to our next story. Portland General Electric announced $2.3 million in funding for electric vehicle adoption and education projects benefiting different area organizations in Oregon. You know why that's good, people? Because climate change and, you know, those gas-guzzling cars are always emitting so much dang carbon into the atmosphere. But, oh, oh, Portland General Electric said no. We are going to be making some donations. We're making changes. 2021 It's the year of change. We're making that. And we're taking action towards reducing our climate change impact as humans. But also, most importantly, they're donating to different community funds so the communities can decide how to use that. So, for example, Meals on Wheels is starting to get their own little electric car so they can be dishing out meals on their wheels that are electric. Which brings us to our final story of the day. story that brings us to the $1.8 million raised by Bernie Sanders memes. In less than 30 minutes, that merchandise sold out. That $1.8 million went to Meals on Wheels and other senior advocacy organizations in Vermont. Those are Bernie Sanders' bingo playing buddies. But for real, Bernie Sanders always hustling for the people. Whether you agree with his politics or not, he is one that cares about making the world a better place. Which brings me to Jen Ellis, the famous Vermont mitten sower, grower, whatever you want to call. She was making those fire mittens for Mr. Bernie Sanders. And so she started a nonprofit organization, actually. And so I want to finish this episode with a quote from her. If you give of yourself, not just material gifts, but your time, your goodwill, your kindness, you will receive joy. It's that simple. You don't need to be rich to care. Just have to be human. We all have so many gifts, and the world is a better place when we share them. So as you go into your weekend. I want you to share your gifts with the world. Let's make the world a better place. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Better World News segment. If you like them, subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts, help us grow, help us grow our mission of building a better world. I know it seems broad, but it's just about challenging ourselves to be better humans and being a little bit better every single day. So much love, y'all. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you here next Friday for Better World News segment, episode 5.